Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where I just threw my uh, armrest cover on the floor. Fantastic. Let me grab that. Perfect. I'm already off to a wonderful start. Okay, so we've got our economy relatively on track. There are a few things that we need to work on. In particular, we've got some unemployment here on this generator world. That's interesting. I feel like we really need to do planetary prospecting and hope that we find something that allows us to build some more of these districts. That would be ideal. And we also need to continue spamming out these ion cannons because they don't cost upkeep. Why not? We may as well fill out with... Okay, that... The game actually stopped responding during that peace deal. Okay, that's exciting stuff. But it didn't crash, so we're all good. It's definitely getting a bit slower going into the end game, though. There's no doubt about that. We're going to need to get all of these re-changed over, because we just changed our defense platforms over to being half-point defense. So that'll be great. And these four defense platforms will give cover to our three ion cannons, hopefully. And we should be able to just wreck anybody that comes in. That's the idea, anyway. Okay. So. When are we going to declare war on the Synthoid Link? Construction complete. Very soon. I've been saying that for many episodes. But it truly is very, very soon. Let's make some claims on them and do a little bit of preparation. We can grab claims on all of this. There we go. And we're only missing four claims at that point. One, two, three, four. So we're going to need eight, 23, eight, and eight influence in order to get those. Well, that's how much we're missing, actually. It's going to be 75, 150, plus 90, plus 75. So that's 225 plus 90, or 315. Okay. Well, we almost have our claims done. We need a few more influence points. We need to upgrade a few more of our stations. They're just not quite where they need to be yet, but we're getting there. We're getting very, very close. It does take a long time to build these ion cannons. That is the downside. But the upside is... War declared. <laughs> War declared, apparently. The upside is they don't cost anything. We just queue them up and they'll be built eventually. I mean, they cost us alloys, but that's fine. We're not doing anything else with our alloys currently. We're working on some repeatable techs. And many of these will help us. This one, not so much, but many of them will help us. Now the question is, what do we build in this building slot? We can actually build a crystal mine here. And so we shall. That doesn't cost us anything because it's not a synthetic crystal fabrication. So that's perfectly fine. Now this over here, we do still need some jobs. And we have plenty of volatile moats, even if we even if we were selling, or weren't selling them, we'd have plenty. Like, even though we are. We, we still have plenty to go to Alloy Mega Forges. The downside here, of course, is this is going to take more minerals. But we do have some minerals going on up here, so that should be okay-ish. We have some unemployment on this Forge world here. And we're going to need to go ahead and upgrade this guy ASAP. I'm actually going to go ahead and hop into the market and purchase us a thousand more minerals. And we're actually going to go for the mineral purification plant, I think. Offset this mineral cost a little bit. This generator world here, we can definitely upgrade the food processing center. That'll be fine. And we did complete our uh, expansion of districts, so we can go ahead and build ourselves a mining district here. That's a chemical plant. We might want to replace this with a mineral purification plant, and I'm going to do that. Okay. I think we're still going to be fine on volatile moats, even with losing that that uh, particular structure there. 
It does produce two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine on that. So let's just continue queuing up additional ion cannons. Although, <laughs> we don't currently have the alloys for them. How are we doing on tech? Six months on building cost reduction. That's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. We can actually bump up how much we're selling in terms of food. So let's go ahead and bring that up to 300. That'll help offset our mineral costs tremendously. Yeah, very good. That basically doubled our net income of energy credits. Very happy about that. And we can go ahead and queue ourselves up an ion cannon in the Termana station. And that's exactly what we're going to do. And we could also think about maybe purchasing some alloys, but I don't I don't really think that's necessary currently. We can make more claims on these guys. We only need the four systems now. So that would be, we can make one claim. And it's that one. Okay, so we can now make three more. We would need 225 influence to make that happen. So we're getting close on that front. We're also getting very close on our defenses front. The Oscom station still has a way to, ways to go, as does the DM station. Overall, we're doing reasonably well. I'm glad we got the economy under control. I was pretty worried about that for a little bit there. When we were sitting at a deficit of like 350 minerals and we were not making energy credits either, I was just like, ooh, this is not looking amazing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is this? Oh, this is just a caravaneer? What, what can you offer us? They want 15 exotic gases, and they'll give us an energy extractor. It'll remain in orbit and increase the amount of energy credits you can obtain from Polymar's surface. Where is Polymar? Polymar. Uh-huh. We don't have anything that has a surface there. Oh, from the star's surface? It's only 15 exotic gases. We have 507. And that'll add 5 energy credits. Yes, we will do this. Thank you. <laughs> I will happily get five more energy credits every month for the cost of 15 one-time one exotic gases. No problem there. Now this world here, it needs some housing. I'm going to give it a generator district. Excellent. Okay, so we have Mastery of Nature happening here. We can also build a building slot. Now, this is a mining world. We already have our mineral purification hub, and we have as many mining districts as we can possibly have. So, I feel like we already have an energy grid here. Food processing facility won't be very useful. Hmm, what do we go for? I don't like these options. Just a bioreactor? I guess. I guess we just go for a bioreactor. Construction complete. Certainly a little on the awkward side. Okay, we can have additional energy credits, but as usual with the repeatable techs, I like to just go for whatever is cheapest, which is energy weapon attack speed right now. Excellent. How are we doing compared to the Fallen Empire? We are now equivalent to them. Their fleet power is superior, but their economic is equivalent, and their tech is still overwhelming, but it classifies us as equivalent. Fascinating. This mining world does need another structure. We'll need to wait for a month tick before we can really build one, but the question becomes, what do we build? Do we have an energy grid here? 
Uh, we do not. Okay, we definitely build an energy grid. Fantastic. Okay, we're at 2.3k alloys, so we should probably queue ourselves up an ion cannon. And we'll do that right here. Fantastic. That's our second ion cannon for most of our stations. We just need two more. So that is perfect. Complete. And of course, beyond that, we're going to need one more round of ion cannons. So that's going to take some time. But like I said, before I roll out with our fleet and get embroiled in this war, I want to be certain that our economy is rock solid. Because these guys are going to be tough. And yes, I did use rock solid on purpose because we are rocks. <laughs> True story. Actually, I didn't. I'm, I'm lying to you. I realized it after I said it. <laughs> I am a professional at this. Okay, so what else do we need? The Grenthurst and Shap stations are shipyard stations, and we're not going to put too much effort into defending them. If the enemies are at our shipyards, we've already lost, realistically. We may want to think about another shipyard down in this area, though. Like, perhaps over Caster would be a good spot for it. We would want to build another gateway down over here. Which will be a big influence hit. But this might be a good backup star... Like, a, a good backup shipyard. So we'll go ahead and get that started. But it's going to be a low priority sort of thing for a while. We're also going to need a construction ship. We're going to build it out of the caster station, though, after that's good to go. So we need to queue ourselves up a second ion cannon here with the next month tick. So that'll be fine. Just as soon as the month tick rolls around. Which will be a little bit yet. Construction complete. How are we doing on our planets? Those appear to be... Relatively fine. Accretion Fantastic. Complete. And look at this strength. 42.2k. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get this ion cannon queued up first. And we'll do this one after. Just because I'd rather it be ticking. It'll be slightly more time efficient this way. Than queuing one up here right away. I mean, similarly, we could remove the... Uh, second ion cannon from here and start working on one here that would be fine just because we're better off having it ticking than not ticking and just waiting in queue since we need it elsewhere so any so our priority be kind of becomes anything that isn't building, because I want to get this done as quickly as possible, but we're primarily bottlenecked by alloys. So I guess that's a thing. Now this tech world here does need additional housing, and I'm going to give it a generator district, because we're going to need one of them. We're also going to need an energy grid here relatively soon, but that'll have to do for now. We have unemployment here on this forge world. Hmm, I'm just thinking, we have one more building slot to unlock. I think we go for an agriculture district, and then a hive district after that. So I think that's the uh, correct way to do that. Excellent. Now this station here is going to be upgraded in a few, mo or a few more days here. So that's fine. We should probably get... Let's see, that's home-based at Shap. That's home-based at Grunthirst. And this one is home-based at Grunthirst. We should probably get that over to Caster. That won't take too long. And then we're going to change the home base here to the Caster station. Which I don't think we can yet. But as soon as it's done.
Okay, we need a few more alloys, and you can see, because we moved that fleet out, our alloy numbers have dropped pretty dramatically. Complete. But we're going to have at the uh, caster station another anchorage, so it'll be fine. I'm going to go ahead and make a shipyard right now. Or not an anchorage, rather. We're going to have a crew gestation chambers. And we're going to prioritize that first. And then we're going to build a pair of shipyards. Construction complete. And you are now going to be home based at the caster station. There we go. Fantastic. And like I said, caster station is at this point a relatively low priority. We need to get these defenses online so that we can declare this war. I, I'm really getting some itchy feet on this one. I want this war to be complete. underway. So to that end, let's go ahead and make a couple of claims. Uh, we can only make one right now, but that'll be fine. And then we're going to need two more, so we need a total of 150 additional influence to make this happen. We're also going to need to build up some armies, because they have four worlds that we're going to need to invade. Five. So that's going to need to be a thing. Okay. Consider it noted. Are you guys going to successfully enter orbit? They are indeed. They're in orbit. They're not currently getting a reduction of their uh, of their upkeep, but that's okay. We're going to go for food from jobs. They will start getting that as soon as this gestation or gestation chamber even is done. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and. We're getting super close to fighting the Synthoid Link. Like, I can taste it at this point. We're basically just waiting for the influence. And that should come in, if not next episode, definitely the one after. So I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time.